Hello. I'm going to move it because I might move around a bit. All right, hi everyone. My name is Katie Burns and I'm a pollination ecologist, which means that I work with bees. And before you say it, no, I don't give a shit that your dad keeps honeybees. <laughs> it's honestly like a reflex when people meet me. Oh, Katie, what do you do? I work with bees. Oh, my neighbor Carol keeps honeybees. And at this point I have to come up with some sort of socially acceptable reaction. And it's usually something like, oh, cool. <laughs> or if I've had a few drinks, yeah, mm -mm, no. <laughs> I hate honeybees. And you might be asking yourself now, wait, didn't she just say that she works with bees? Why does she do that if she hates them? And the answer is, there is more than one type of bee, people. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Give it up for the bees. There are 20,000 species of bee worldwide, and the honeybee is literally just one. We've got solitary bees, which should basically be the symbol for every single working mother. They do it all. They don't have workers. They just take care of their babies, and they go to work. They're amazing. And then we have bumblebees, which are fluffy and hardworking and straight out of a cartoon cute. Like... Why do we just care about the honeybee? Seriously, everyone's just so jacked up about making the honeybee the poster child for all of the Save the Bees campaigns. Here in Ireland alone, we have 100 species of bee, 77 solitary bees, and 22 bumblebees. Now you might be also saying, but Katie, aren't the honeybees dying? No, you know what, they're gonna be fine. <laughs> they have these things called beekeepers looking after them. They're making sure that they're treated for disease, that they're getting food, they're fine. It's keeping honeybees to save the bees, which a lot of people like to do, is kind of like saying, oh, the birds are dying and I'm so worried about the birds. You know what I'll do? I'll get chickens. <laughs> and plus these ladies are assholes. Like if they find a group of flowers that's really nice looking, they'll go and they'll get their sisters, bring them over, and then they'll take everything. There'll be nothing left for all of those other bee species. Imagine every catty, spoiled, popular girl that you knew in high school, multiply it by 10,000, and that is what a honeybee hive is like. <laughs> I'll just check my notes here. Where do I go from here? But anyway, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my fiance is really hot and I got distracted by looking at him. You can all look at him while I see where to go from here. Anyway, yeah. So plus, all these bees are way sexier than the honeybee. Most of them are much better pollinators, which means that they're better at carrying pollen from one flower to another so that that plant can produce seeds and fruits. So when I say that they're way sexier than honeybees, I mean way better at flower sex. <laughs> and my research is about looking at specifically which insects are the best at flower sex. <laughs> So I hang out a lot in apple orchards and field bean fields, looking at the pollinators of these plants and trying to see if honeybees, bumblebees, solitary bees, hoverflies, which are not bees but are also excellent pollinators, which ones are the best at giving us the most apples and field beans. And my work contains um, both lab work and field work. So lab work is when I sit in one spot for hours, stare through a microscope, and try to answer ludicrous questions like, hmm, is the antenna of this hoverfly elongate or bulbous? Because I might be in the wrong genus. Field work means I get to go outside and actually look at these pollinators in their natural habitat and record data on them. And I've been really lucky to be able to do this all over the world, including some really beautiful remote areas. And when I tell people that I'm spending a lot of time outside looking at bees, often the reaction is, oh my goodness, how lovely, how cute, how peaceful, you beautiful little tree hugger. If you think 
that my research is me skipping through a field of flowers with a butterfly net singing Disney ballads, you would be dead right. That is exactly what I do. Thank you. <laughs> but no, it's... It's not always like that. It's not always the fairy princess dream. Things can get kind of intense when you're in the field, and I've been in a couple hairy situations, literally. So just general ask, have any of you been chased by a bear? <laughs> yeah, I know Allison has. <laughs> yeah, because I have. And you know, one doesn't really know how they're going to react when a giant black bear jumps out of the bushes at you. But as someone who considers herself fairly mild-mannered, I couldn't have anticipated reaching down, picking up a stick, holding it over my head like Gandalf, and yelling, I am a fucking predator! I will legit fuck you up! This is my forest! So thank you, California, for the bears and the rattlesnakes and all of those poisonous spiders for bringing out truly the best in me. But now I get to work in Ireland, which is so lovely. The most dangerous thing you'll come across is like a cow. But unfortunately, here in Ireland, the pollinators are in real trouble. So in the last decade, about half of the pollinator population, or bee population, has decreased by about half. And about a third of our bee species, 100 bee species, a third of those are facing extinction, which is really scary stuff. And a huge reason for this is because of the Irish's obsession with tidiness. All of these really closely shorn lawns, these pristine non-native flower beds, and these, uh, I don't know, roundup sprayed road edges. These are just food deserts for hungry bees. And I find this particularly ironic because do you guys know who invented the lawn? Wealthy British people. <laughs> So if you all want to show a little more national pride, <laughs> I'd let native wildflowers grow and fluffy hedgerows and long grasses, food and habitat for the bees, plus your reputation as an Irishman will be intact. <laughs> so thank you guys, that's me. Don't squish bugs and stop mowing your lawn. Yeah!